What is cracking cuz it is your boy Cypherblock here bringing you guys major Pokemon League week one of season two. I am so stoked to finally be uploading this and what not a better time around Halloween. So today I am battling Bizer, the head coach of the San Francisco 49 Tails because you know he had he had to replace Jim Harbaugh somehow. And so, yeah, I'm playing Bizer today, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And so, if you guys have not yet watched my team builder, I want you to pause this video, go back to the team builder, watch that, so it explains, you know, why I picked a poke and why I feel like this matchup will be good with this matchup. Make sure you guys go watch that first, come back, and then you'll understand why I picked the poke I did. So, little fun fact for you guys is all six of these pokes that you guys see on the screen right now for Bizer side. I guessed four out of those six mods, which gave me a huge advantage. The only ones I did not guess were the Swampert and the Thunderous Eye. I believe I guessed, and in those places, I guessed Umbreon and Umbreon and uh, Diancy. But yeah, and another little fun fact for you guys is uh, Cipher. Why? Why? Why do you have Bizer? Why do you have Bizer recorder for you? You know, it says register 10:25 at the bottom. Well, I am stupid. I didn't look at my VS recorder and I already have 100 battles saved. I, and I figured that out. Uh, uh, English, please. You gotta speak English. I figured that out after the Battle of Bizer. said I couldn't save any more battles. I'm like, oh, fuck, 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 Bizer, you please, you please, you please, please. He did. So we're here now. So, but yeah. Uh, so today, again, Bizer's obviously bringing uh, Thunder's Eye, Rotom Wash, Charizard X, Gengar, Swampert, and Scizor. Today, I am bringing Arcanine, Duke Nukem, Mega Scizor. Rotom Mo, Lando Griffin, Landorus, Sweet Coon, aka Shizzy Six, and Magic Johnson, the Alakazam. So, key threats on his team are definitely going to be the Charizard X and the Rotom Wash. It's going to be a little combo between those. Uh, and I'm going to give you a little head time as Hax. Hax is a bitch. That's all I'm going to say. So, uh, let's see if we can get this major Pokemon League Week 1 Season 2 battle to 30 likes. I have confidence that we can get 30 likes. Please let's just hit that and we'll be good for there. So, uh, question today is going to be who do you think is the MVP, obviously. And without further ado, let's get right into the battle because I'm sick of wasting you guys' time. So let's just get right into it. Now it's going to be pretty hard for me to commentate uh, on the other side of the field, so just just bear with me. So he's going to go into Doppler, which is going to be his thunderous eye. I'm actually going to go into Magic Johnson just because I figured Swamper or Rotom Wash to come in first. So. Uh, cause I was packing energy ball, but the good thing is, is I do get a psychic off on this thing, which is going to bring him to red health and that's fine. He goes for the knockoff. Thankfully my focus stash is still intact. So that is putting me at a huge advantage. So either he's going to have to go for the prankster move or he's going to have to go for a physical and take out and not get a move at all. But he does in fact go for the tailwind, which is a pretty good play on his part. But the good thing is, is I do go for the energy ball or energy ball here, which the energy ball is going to take out the thunderous or that's not thunderous. That's, uh, that's uh, Tornadus. Sorry, Tornadus. <laughs> it's going to take out the Tornadus eye, which is fine. He goes for the Hydro Pump and misses. That was huge because now I get free damage onto the Rotom Wash. But unfortunately, he does have the Citrus Berry. But the thing is that health is good health. Health is good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Health is good health. But uh, yeah, well, him missing the Hydro Pump let me get some free damage on him. He's going to go for the Volt Switch and take out my Alakazam, which is just fine, though. Uh, so now that does give me free uh, initiative to send in whatever poke I would like. He's going to go into Swamper, which is just fine because now that gives me a good chance to go into K Camp, which is going to be my Rotom Mo. And with Rotom Mo in here, that means he's going to either have to switch or go for a move. Now, I had to predict if he's going to stay in or not. I predicted him to switch, so I'm actually just going to go for a Volt Switch here, in which uh, he's going to go into his Scizor, which is just fine because I'm not, you know, it got a lot of damage onto him. So that's not even like why I'm mad at all. <clears throat> So I'm gonna go to Shizzy Six here. Obviously, my sweet coon. Now with Shizzy Six here, uh, he is Crow Coon, so that means if he can set up Calm Mind, he will do it. Obviously, we do see that his Scizor here is leftovers, but the good thing for me is now that his Tailwind is uh, is taken out, he can't Swords Dance or anything, or at least I'll speed me for that fact. So uh, again, Crow Coon gonna go for the Calm Mind. That's fine. Nice and powerful, plus one special attack, plus one special defense. He's going to go for the knockoff. Now, I can't rest and get my Chesto Berry off, but the good thing is we have Sleep Talk, so it's kind of like we're not missing anything out. It's just we don't get to pick what move that we want to go for. But I do go for a Scald here, and this is the most fortunate part for me, is he does live, 
the skull burn or the skull but the thing is we do get the burn afterwards so this scissor is completely wall now and the good thing is he u turned out now so that means he's gonna have to come into negative two attack so that was really fortunate for my side I, I was just jumping up and down when i saw that nice and powerful burn so uh he's actually gonna send a swamper here and the good thing is here's another piece of hacks we get another burn we get another burn on the swamper so that's just fine but unfortunately he is gonna go for the roar so crocoon is gonna get out of here and i'm actually gonna go right into the landris t now landris t again i am choice scarf so that means i will be able to outspeed the swamper and that in fact my friends means that i can get a nice powerful u-turn off get some damage go into whoever the hell i want and just pretty much keep wrecking shop right now so unfortunately the hacks in visor's fair or um in visor's turns i guess you want to say aren't really going his way but the thing is is it's helping me take a battle that we've been looking for so for so long so um obviously here i'm gonna go into duke nuka myself actually which is gonna be my scissor predicting him to go for the ice beam just in case he thought i wanted to go into my rotom uh, mo or possibly stay with my landers which is just fine which i'm not mad about um now the good thing is we sent in the perfect mon or perfect mon to come in against Swampert. Um, but the good thing is we're gonna make a double switch out from our Mega Scissor. We're actually gonna go into Shizzy Six here, just in case you want to go for another Ice Beam. That way we can at least let the burn damage keep whittling down the Swampert. So I am not mad at all. I'm in a very good position. But unfortunately, he is gonna go for the Scald here, and he does get the burn in fact, which really sucks. But the thing is, again, we're croaking. We can rest this off. We are in a great position right now. Not even mad at all. So. Again, he has two leftovers peoples, uh, which is going to be his Scizor and his Swampert. Not even mad at the fact of um, of him getting the burn again on my Sweet Coon. It's just, I believe Bizer would be more mad that he has two burns on his mod, which really sucks. But the good thing is, we go for the Scald here, and that's going to take out the Swampert. So again, no rocks, no roaring out, in case we do set up with somebody. Uh, but again, unfortunately, we are burned. He gets to send in Gengar. He knows his Gengar without speed. Now, I really was thinking in my head that this Gengar would be Choice Scarfed. Um, so that's kind of why I stayed in, just because if I send in Landorus T right after this, which I will in fact do, um, I could at least uh, get a Choice Scarfed knockoff onto this thing and we'll all be in such a happy position. So obviously we get the Intimidate onto the Gengar, that's fine. He goes for the Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball is going to do a butt ton of damage. But the good thing is, is we do get the knockoff here, and surprisingly enough, the knockout actually one-shots the Gengar. I really, really was thinking either thing was Focus Sash or Choice Scarf, but the thing is, he was neither. And it really, really threw me off. But now, he's actually going to go into uh, his Rotom Wash here. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. We still have a nice and powerful Rotom. Oh, never mind. I thought of something else. Um, but he, I have a nice and powerful Rotom uh, Rotom mo on the field he goes for the will-o-wisp and miss and that was huge too that was perfectly huge and that means we're not going to take any extra damage i get a volt switch off on this thing to get a little extra damage now i i knew he was gonna go for another volt switch i was like hey why not go into a mon that can at least eat it up and then possibly deliver a hit back so obviously here he's gonna go for the volt switch that's fine this is gonna do probably about 25 to 30 percent onto the arcanine and he gets a free switch into the nice and powerful uh, charizard x now, Charizard X, I really have to watch out because Dragon Dance is a thing. Dragon Dance will be the death of me if I don't watch out. So, obviously, here you're going to see the nice, powerful Charizard X. That's all good. I can't burn this thing, unfortunately. But the good thing is, is I do have close combat and life orb with max attack plus some add or not. I am jolly with this one. No, I'm impish. I'm actually impish with this Arcanine. But the good thing is, is I, again, I am. I, I have plenty of tactic dishes. This thing. this thing gets half damage done. Uh, now, unfortunately, I don't know if this next crit Dragon Claw really mattered onto my Charizard or from my, from the Charizard X onto my Arcanine. Uh, and personally, Arcanine really did what he needed to do because the Scizor is again burnt. It's burnt. It's every, uh, it's at minus two attack. It's really low health. It's not going to mean anything. But we do get the Intimidate off here. And now this is the part that I really wish I would have ran 252 uh, speed onto this uh, onto this Landers because he's actually going to go for the Hidden Power Ice. Which completely threw me off. I was so devastated when I saw Hidden Power Ice. I was like, yo, and to just him out speeding really hurt. So I guess the choice scarfing the whole landers wasn't really the biggest deal. But the good thing is he's gonna go for the Dragon Claw over here, which is not gonna take out my Rotom uh, Rotom Mo. And that's perfect. So we go for a Volt Switch. Volt Switch is gonna do a nice little chunk of damage, but it's not gonna take out the Charizard Edge, which is rather unfortunate. Um, but it does give me a good chance to go into Sizz Mega Scissor here. Now I calc it, it said it's supposed to do 22% of health to the Charizard X. Bizer at the end of the battle told me he was at 22% exactly. 
So legit on Pokemon Showdown, I got a max damage roll on that Bullet Punch, and that is going to take out the Charizard X. It was I had 5.8% to kill that thing. The gods gave it to me. So, but unfortunately, he is going to go for a Hydro Pump with his Rotom Wash. Which is rather unfortunate because I, I kind of expected more of a Will O Wisp. But the good thing is, is now I can get a bullet, uh, a Sword Dance off on, or a Sword Dance from my uh, my Mega Scizor here. And the Bullet Punch is not going to take out the Rotom Wash, which is going to leave him at two hit points. And unfortunately, he goes for the Hydro Pump, and that is unfortunately going to take out Duke Nukem from the crit. Now I believe if I would, if it wasn't a crit, I would have lived, and I still could have swept this match. But the good thing is, is I got to bring in K Camp here. Now, thank goodness I ran four. EVs in in Rotom Mo's uh, EV spread. I outspeed the Rotom Wash perfectly. I get the nice and powerful. I get the powerful uh, Volt Switch off onto him, or not? Yeah, Volt Switch off onto him. And obviously, he all he has left here is his. Um, all he has left is the Mega or Scizor. Obviously, he didn't go for the Bullet Punch. I take him out with a Volt Switch, and that game is a 1-0 against Bison in the San Francisco 49 Tales. Sorry for talking all late. I just, it was so many thoughts running through my head in this battle, and I just, I couldn't believe I got a 1-0 off on him. Because he was ranked number three in the power ranking. I was ranked number two. But it was just a blessing to to actually do so well in this match. So if you guys really like this match, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. It was honestly one of the best Pokemon Omega Ruby Nuffs. It was actually just the greatest Pokemon battle I've had in my life. And I, 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 I didn't have any words after I beat it. I was literally jumping around my house for a half an hour. I literally just laid in bed. I was like, oh my God, I just beat the team. I got 3 0 by last year. And that what took third in the yellow division. I was just like laying there. I was like, yo, this feels amazing. Just to actually like keep in competition. So I am just insanely glad that I had a really good draft this year, and I am so, 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 so stoked to be uploading this on this Friday. But now that we've won this one, it's time to keep looking forward into, you know, the road to the po hashtag road to the Poke Bowl for Detroit. Well, I guess road to, road to Poke Bowl, that's what we're going to say. Drop it in the comment section below, guys. I had fun. Bizer, I hope you had fun. Make sure you guys go check out Bizer. He's a great guy. Great content. Does awesome, awesome, awesome pack openings. Uh, he does great VGC content, Wi-Fi battles, and all the such. So, but with that being said, again, guys, 30 goals is the like, or 30 likes is the goal. And also, again, drop in the comments below. Road to the Poke Bowl. And again, who is your, who is you think's team MVP? It has to be Mega Scizor because that kill right there won me the game for a fact. I already know it won me for a fact. So, I'll catch you guys in the next Wi-Fi battle, or maybe possibly in the next team builder for the MPL. And again, I'm. <laughs> I have no words for this win right here. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. So make sure you have yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. What is cracking? Because see you.